Hello guys, um, it's Classic and uh, as a follow-up to the 30-day challenge, I have decided to book myself a therapy session, which I'm about to have in a few minutes. She'll be here any minute from now, really, so I'm really nervous, but let's just see how it goes. Welcome, uh, my name is Catherine Tanganimodze and I'll be your counsellor today. I'm a counsellor but also a psychotherapist. Um, be assured that whatever we discuss here remains confidential and private unless otherwise that we need to break the confidentiality. If it concerns safety, your own safety or other people's safety, then we've got that Odindo um, uh, Feel free to share what you want to share in today's session. Yeah. As I've said, my name is Catherine Tangali Mozi. Let me know your name before we proceed. Uh, I'm Thank you, Ian Kozuru, yeah. yeah. Dr. Goza. Sure. So, for today, how do you want me to help you? Uh, basically, um, I've been in a dark area, mm -hmm. uh, and I've been dealing with so many, I would say, demons mm -hmm. that I was trying to conquer. Mm -hmm. So, I just, I, I really needed help because mm -hmm. every time I try to do that, I was getting myself into some things that I didn't want to, mm -hmm. and I was making some poor decisions mm -hmm. yeah so i just really need help just to see the light mm -hmm. and just come back to life all right yes. so i've heard you say you were uh, in the dark area and you were yeah. facing up some things and you also yeah. did some other things what yeah. do you mean when you say you've been facing up some dark areas what do you mean by that uh it's been it's been a lot of things that i've been facing mm -hmm. you know? And uh, it's it's quite for some time. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was, uh, this this goes way back. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily just about right now, mm -hmm. but ever since you know, somewhere in my teens, mm -hmm. I've been going through a lot, and I haven't been mm -hmm. expressing myself and telling people mm -hmm. what I've been going through. Mm -hmm. So I feel like when I bottle all those emotions mm -hmm. inside, mm -hmm. when I want to take them out, I take them out with the wrong people mm -hmm. at the wrong time, and. I just mess up, mm -hmm. so I feel like I just need someone I should just share these things with. Okay, if you feel free, that you, if you feel like it's okay to share some of the things that you're facing, and um, but also how you've been expressing your emotions, because you said you were not able to express your emotions uh, properly. So yeah. maybe if you take us back, maybe if we start by uh, explaining maybe yeah. how old were you and how many you maga maga china chitika nijani so mwina tika chokira kumbene koko tu wane nuku tino tipite banji mbali zina kuma so you've mentioned kuti you were not able to express your emotions properly yeah. so it would also be good when you say you will not be able to express your emotions properly how were you expressing your emotions uh i've been in a dark space mm -hmm. Uh, just back and forth, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I come back, mm -hmm. and I seem like a happy person, mm -hmm. but every time I'm alone, sometimes I just might overthink, mm -hmm. you know, so it all goes back when I was, I think, in, in my teens, mm -hmm. really. mm -hmm. that's where, I think that's where everybody starts, mm -hmm. you know, just experiencing the world mm -hmm. on different kinds of angles, mm -hmm. yeah, it's been, it was really hard for me because I was, uh, I was, uh, I think I was 15 when we moved from Little uh, Longbody here, mm -hmm. Atlanta, mm -hmm. and uh, I, was, I was taking care of my mother, mm -hmm. and I was the only one that was staying with her at that time, because mm -hmm. all my sisters were married, so mm -hmm. uh, that was the time that I was also supposed to be going in uni, mm -hmm. university, so I was taking care of my mother, and I was trying to balance that going to school, mm -hmm. coming back to take care of my mother, mm -hmm. and, you know, part of my free time and to do music as well, because I'm, I'm, I'm an artist, mm -hmm. so it was really hard for me to do that, and seeing my mother like that, she had strokes, so mm -hmm. you, know, you can only imagine mm -hmm. uh, somebody, like, it's like a male, mm -hmm. trying to take care of a female, mm -hmm. older than have my mother, mm -hmm. uh, it was really hard for me just mm -hmm. to do all these things alone, mm -hmm. so... I'm trying to balance that really just it, it didn't work out mm -hmm. nice for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if I've heard you correctly, you were able to take care of your mother from the age of fifteen yeah. when your mom had a stroke. Yeah. That must have been hard for you. Yeah, man. Uh, that was my therapy session, guys. Uh, I hope you've learned something from it. Uh, I was really nervous the first time, but you know this lady was was really nice to me, as as you saw. 
And uh, I just want to let everybody know that if you're going through some things, please talk to other people. And uh, if you're not comfortable with that, you can hire or book somebody uh, professionally like I did and everything will be private and confidential. That's really okay not to be okay. And please get some help one time.